What's up guys, it's Seth from Inquisitive Otter and today I wanted to talk about a different type of headphones than you're probably used to getting if you wear them at all. The reason for this post, for this video, is this phone right here. I recently upgraded to a Google Pixel 6, but I had no idea the thing did not come with a headphone jack. Which, I get. It's 2022. The problem, though, is the most popular type of audio devices for, you know, phones that don't have a headphone jack are buds. You know, whether it's the AirPods or the Pixel Buds or the Galaxy Pods, whatever product out there that you prefer. I personally don't like earbuds or anything that goes in my ears because they don't stay never had any success and I don't like how they feel after long use so I started looking into other options if they're not buds then the most common thing is over-the-ear headphones that are huge I mean there's nothing small about headphones anymore which I don't like those either they just take up so much space and my head's already big enough as it is and really I just end up looking like you know that Princess Leia in the first Star Wars movie with like the buns. It just looks huge. It looks ridiculous. So after a little bit of research, what I found was these bone conduction headphones are gaining in popularity. And these are the type that they go around the back of your head like the old school ones that headphones that used to go on your ears in the back of your head. Except these don't produce sound the same way that other headphones and earbuds and etc. do, which is using air conduction, you know, where the sound waves are generated and they go to hit your eardrum and your, your whole inner ear does its thing. These bone conduction ones, what they do is it's they rest on your jaw, on your temple area, and they vibrate on your jaw and your skull and it actually resonates into your ear, you know, and it generates audio. I'm going to pause the video right here and when I come back, I should be holding four boxes. All right, guys. As you can see, I've got four different sets of the um, bone conduction headphones in. And I can already tell from the weight of these things, just the box alone. Let me give you, let me give you an idea just by shaking them. But this box is incredibly light. This is the Touchbone model, made in China. Okay, incredibly light. This is another touch bone model okay incredibly light made in China different model though so same manufacturer you know the same model name but uh, they do look different as you can tell and we'll get these open and we'll take a closer look the next model here actually feels a lot better it's a heavier package and it's more professionally done and it's better packaged inside as well okay and then finally, you have the expensive brand, uh, well, of the four anyway, uh, the Shocks, okay, known, formerly known as Aftershocks. So this one here, perfect wrapping. It reminds me of, um, you know, like a Samsung or an Apple cell phone when you get it. Really well packaged. You can tell it has some weight to it. And odds are, this one and these will be the best of the bunch. But, we'll see. Now... If that is the case, then you get what you pay for when it comes to bone conduction headphones because these, I believe, were 80 and I'll, you know, I'll leave notes and everything and links in the show notes and all that, but these are uh, the more expensive pair compared to these two clunky touch bones. So let me take them out and get them unwrapped and we'll give them all a try. Okay, so the first pair of touch bones, uh, touch bone. As soon as I took them out of the package, it's like everything just fell out. Super flimsy, you know, I'm not expecting much from these. Uh, they come with a cheap pair of uh, earplugs, in case you want to use those while you're listening, because once again, the bone conduction does not go in your, uh, or on your ear. Uh, it also comes with a micro USB charger. Let me see if I can get the focus in on this. There we go. As you can see, it's micro USB. 
anybody actually use that anymore so but when you when you get budget cheaper stuff that's kind of how it goes and then look it's like a, a limp noodle if you will um, when you put these on so let me just put these on and uh, these barely fit let me take off my hat here these barely fit me uh, I've got a big head so that's another thing you got to be careful of with these bone conduction headphones but so you get a general idea of what they look like these are quite tiny so let me get these charged up a bit I'll get them connected to my phone obviously you can't hear anything from it what I'll do is I'll record some audio so you can at least hear what the microphone sounds like and how you would sound conversing with someone on the phone if anybody even does that anymore uh, so give me a minute get these charged up and I'll be right back Okay, so one thing I've noticed with these is you can actually hear them um, without even having them on. So it's not like your conversations will be completely private. So let's just, uh, let me see if I can, I've got it paired with my phone. Let me see if I've got a voice recording app because that usually helps. There we go, recorder. So this is just a test to see how well this sounds. And I will upload this to the video so you get a general idea of how I sound as well. No editing or anything like that. I'm just going to put it in its raw format so you get a general idea of how it would sound when you're on the phone. Okay, now that the recording is done, let me play some music here. And let's just see how they sound and how it feels to have a bone conduction headphone on because I've never had one of these before. All right. Turn it up. I don't know if you can hear this. Let me take them off and see if you can actually hear them. Yeah, I've got the volume turned up really loud on these things. And I could put them on my ear and hear them, but I don't really hear it that, it sounds muted, like muffled almost when I have it on my head here. Okay, so. These are kind of crappy. It's just to put it like right in front of your ears. These are incredibly terrible. Yeah, these are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me get myself out of this here. Okay, so these are pretty bad. Um, I'll be returning these. These are just. Don't ever buy these. They're just terrible. And they're loud as hell on the outside. I mean, th this is not what you would expect from bone conduction technology right the idea is that it vibrates on your bone and you, nobody can hear it from the outside so that's an epic fail in my opinion stay away from that model there all right so let me get this repackaged and because they're junk and i'll move on to the other touch bone and we'll see how this one goes and the next one is an ix14 I don't know if that means anything they're made by the same manufacturer i'm assuming that's legitimate model numbers on these things but Sometimes you never really know. So give me a minute and I'll be back with this box open. Okay, so getting the packaging out here. And already these seem better. You know, like the packaging is uh, a drastic improvement or a vast improvement. And it comes with the same cheap earplugs. So let's go over the, the specs for these uh, X14s. First of all, there's a USB-C charger. Brilliant. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Because now, I don't have to go around buying any adapters. I have multiple USB-C cables, and I don't have to look online for any other type of like proprietary cable or cables I don't already have a lot of. Fantastic, right? So now I'm saving myself some money. Big, big advantage for these X14s. The other thing that I wanted to compare was the the playback time. So the open run claims eight and a half hours of playback time. These claim eight hours of play time. Now I have to test this out obviously, but if that's the case, I will sacrifice the extra uh, 30 minutes for 
$95 lower uh, price point for these. The one, another area that's a sort of a bad point with these is they are only Bluetooth 5.0, uh, which does suck. Um, but again, for me, that's not the end of the world because all I'm really doing is listening to music. I'm not doing anything uh, beyond that or podcasts. They have an IP56 rating, which means you can't take them swimming, which I hate swimming anyway, but uh, they do have uh, the sweatproof rating. So you can use these to exercise, and then all you got to do is just wipe them off, you know? Everything seems really well sealed in this rubber gasket and plastic area. No complaints there. Um, they, are, they do rest firmly when I wear them, so they're not going to go anywhere, you know what I mean? Like, I'll shake my head around and it's, nothing happens. You know, these are uh, so far my favorites. And they're flexible as well, you know what I mean? Like the, And they're light as hell too. It's like you can really wear these all day. Let me try these on and see how they fit on my big head. Oh, these fit so much better already. Let me take my glasses off. Yeah, these are, I think, what bone induction, uh, bone conduction headphones are supposed to feel like. They're actually touching, um, you know, my jawline here under my beard and they feel so much more comfortable like these are they're off to a good start and uh, considering the price wasn't that bad that bodes well and it also comes with the same sort of uh, instruction manual so let me get it turned on let me get my phone connected to it and we'll judge how these sound okay so I've got my phone here on the Bluetooth it comes up as touchbone so I'm going to pair with that. Already just starting these things up, they seem better as well because the audio was sort of more, whoa, yeah, no, it just connected. These are legit. So let me play the songs. First, I'm going to take these off and I want to play the song for you, uh, the music um, via my phone, uh, this headset. Okay. You can kind of hear it if I put it close to the mic, but I tell you what. This thing is vibrating. I can tell it's actually a much better product. So let me put it on. This is so weird. This this is exact. I'm like, I've got goosebumps. That's how exciting this is because I'm a big geek and I've heard of this technology a long time ago for the military and it's nice to be able to have it. This is awesome. This is so far an amazing value for your money. Uh, let me turn it up. This is amazing. It sounds really good, and like I did the last time, let me let me uh, see the last recording. All right, I'm gonna make a new recording on this so you can see see what it sounds like. So, okay, here we go. This is the second Touchbone, the X14 model, and this is what this one sounds like on the mic. And I can't tell yet until I play it back for you, but I'm suspect I expect this one will be a lot better than the first one. All right, so this one's got a lot going for it, and I'm just gonna double check real quick how much I paid for it. Now, get my glasses back on because I'm an old man now. Which, by the way, this is the other thing that's amazing with these: you can wear glasses, no problem. Okay. Guess how much these are? Thirty-five dollars. Yeah. So much more value for your money. The other thing I wanted to point out that I thought was really good is the, the crappy pair, which I'm going to refer to these as the crappy pair, had the buttons on the section that goes on your head, okay? So you got to press against your, your head. Not exactly a terrible thing, but a minor inconvenience, right? These, if you can see this, let me, let me uh, uh, right here, there we go. These have two buttons and a charging port and it's on the bottom so you like you're sort of just pressing get back here okay so you're just pressing underneath so it's kind of nice i mean and like i said they fit so much better so if you've got a big dome like i do these will work out really good for you and look look how low profile that is i mean and I'm going to test these out um, when I go for a walk with my dog. I'll try to take some uh, video footage of that as well, and just to see how I react to the surroundings, you know, being able to hear everything. 
Uh, but so far, I'm, I'm really pleased with these, and you can't beat the price either. So that's what I'm all about, is the budget gear. Not necessarily the name brand, but just getting the most value for your money. Let me get these packaged back up, and I'll take out the next set, which is going to be these. Okay, so the packaging for this one is a little bit better than the previous two. This is the uh, the 9 Digital Lite. I've also seen it referenced as the N1 model, but a lot of times these products from China, unfortunately... Oops, I just dropped the instructions. A lot of times these uh, Chinese products, it varies on the model number and the manufacturer that's making the same model. So, But as you can see, the way that they're twisted, these are designed where they can really be... Like, it's kind of flimsy, but intentionally in this case, okay? So, again, this one, uh, once again, unfortunately, has a micro USB charger on it. Uh, let me go through some of the specs on here. So, there's two buttons, just like the other one, that I just had on, the, uh, the, the, the better touchbone model. And, let's see, it's only got Bluetooth 5.0, which isn't great in my mind. I'd rather get something a little newer. Um, it only has a six and a half hour long playing time, uh, but it is lightweight. It's got the mic, um, you know, it, that's really what, all I can go through with this one here. I mean, it claims to have a, a sweat proof design, but I don't see what I rating it has. So I can't really make any claims in terms of how valid that is. So let me get it turned on here. And we just hit this little button here, I'll show you. That might be as good as we can. Oh, there we go, right here. So you can see the charging port right there and the two buttons, all right? So let's see how these feel and sound. So I'm going to turn them on first, which it just dawned on me. I didn't even turn the other ones off yet. Okay, so I felt it vibrate. It didn't say anything. I didn't hear anything. Let me try these on now. Oh yeah, these are really comfortable too. I think these are actually a little bigger than the last ones, or if not, just the same. Okay, I wonder if I can wear a hat with my glasses with these things on. Let's check that out. Yeah, protect my bald head, you know? Oh yeah, look at this. This is nice. This is not bad at all. Alright, let me go on my phone here and get these paired. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and assume that this one's called digital on this. There it is. Alright, so this is digital. That's what you want to look for. It didn't sound as good, but I can tell you what, it, it didn't sound as loud from off of my air as well. So let me play. Okay, I got the pan, the music on. I can hear these like sort of just as much as the other ones. Maybe a little bit louder actually. These don't seem like they're as good as the other ones. Let me see. Let me put them back on. Okay, so I got them on my ear. I'm going to take my hat back off. Yeah, these don't sound as good. These actually sound as bad as these cheap, you know, uh, BC-8 touch bones. That's bad. Um, let me just look real quick here. Okay, so these are 50 bucks. So already I'm thinking that I wouldn't want to waste my money on these if I could get the Touchbone X14 for $15 less per, uh, per set. So... Oh, you know what? I stand corrected. There is a coupon for an extra 40% off. So when I bought it, it actually... Let's see if I can find out on the order details. Yeah, it looks like I might have only just gotten 20 bucks off of it. So anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. And it looks like I actually paid... Um, where is it? $55 for these. And then down to 35 now. I'm definitely returning. These are a huge ripoff. So, but these are terrible too. This again, it comes with the cheap earplugs and micro um, USB charger. Don't waste your money on these. And again, like I said, these are the nine digital uh, lights. Nine digital light. And I'll leave a link to it in the. I got a page set up for this, so you guys can go check that out with all the links you need. Um, these are terrible. Let me turn off the radio here the, the music and these things are not definitely not worth the money All right let me get the 
the shocks opened up. That should be fun. All right, so I'm checking out the um, the shocks, and I can already tell you, there's not frustration-free packaging. It's actually kind of annoying trying to open this thing, but let me see if I can get them out. God. All right. So, packaging looks nice, kind of basic. Almost looks like one of those, like a necklace display uh, package. And this is what they look like. They are kind of. see if I can get it. Alright. Okay, so they're a single button right here. And to charge, oh no, I'm sorry, they're not single button, but there's one button there, and then there's uh, a couple buttons here, and then they have their magnetic charger. Okay, so that's the proprietary thing. It's actually kind of convenient if you think about it. Oops. I mean, it's, it sounds convenient, right? Because it's just pop it off, pop it back on. But the problem is, is you only got one cable to charge it, whereas if it used USB-C or came with an adapter, you know, you'd have more than one place. Like, you know, sometimes I like to charge things on my end table in my bedroom. Other times I'm here at my desk. Other times I'm in the living room, just sitting down and I need to charge stuff. So that's uh, uh, the bad thing about this. However, obviously you can buy new or uh, more charging cables, but um, that's just minor detail. Let me get the rest of this box open and to see what it comes with before I turn them on. Okay. All right, so you get a, a extra little carrying case bag, which I'm sure just cost pennies to make. Um, and inside of it comes the charging cable and the user guide and it looks like oh and it's got a sports headband that comes with it as well which i would imagine you just put back here on the back end so in case you're working out you get sweaty it's not just sweating on this although however i would much rather just have it on this and wipe it down than on a cloth piece where you have to actually um you know, rinse it off, wash it off, or what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button here. Okay, so it's in pairing mode, and I'm just waiting for it to pop up on my phone. And, yep, it says, I uh, know you can't see it, but it says open run by shocks. Let me see if it makes a noise when it's done pairing. Okay, so I heard it say connected. All right, so now I'm going to open up, play some music. Okay, I can hear as much out of these as I could the nice model of Touchbone, the X14. So it's comparable there. Now let me put these on and give them a shot. Turn the volume up a little bit. Oh, these sound good. These sound really good. The only thing is these is you don't get a lot of bass, but I think that's just because of the way they're made. You know, there's not that sound wave that's going against your eardrum, right? So you're not going to get a deep bass out of these things. But when the bass does hit, if you have it loud enough, I guess, you actually feel a little bit of the vibration hitting you. So it does sound really good. I, I can't really say how much better it sounds than the $35 pair of Touchbone X14s because it's good, but... Is it really worth the extra, let's see, what did I pay? $130 versus $35. Okay, so these sound good, but not great. But I have a feeling that that's the limitation with bone conduction headphones, not this product itself, because the product is amazing. Um, let me just do a voice recording now. Oh crap, I didn't take one of the last one. Whoops. Okay, so this is the Shox Open Run headset, and this is what the microphone sounds like. And before I can even hear it, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it sounds really good, but we'll see. Okay, so now that I've got these tested, which ones do I like the best? Hang on one second and I'll get to that point. All right, so... 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my hat back on and come up with the final judgment for these four. Let's get serious for a second here. No, I'm kidding. All right, so let's, let's grade these from worst to best in terms of value and just in general, how good are they for the money that you spend? And I think we're all, we know where we're going with this one here, right? So first off, it, the worst are these Touchbone BC-8s, which I paid um, $50 for, which you can get now, at least today anyway, is uh, $35, they're just still a ripoff. They're terrible. Don't waste your money on these. The next best is this uh, Digital 9 or 9 Digital Lite, okay? These I bought for 50 bucks, and they were, quality-wise, they were just as crappy um, as the ones before that. They did fit a little more comfortably. So I, you know, that's why I put them above the BC-8s. Otherwise, they're a wash because they sound terrible. Next, oh, what do I pick? The Touchbone X14 or the Shocks? And I'm gonna go with my runner-up is uh, ironically the Open Run, only because I'm all about value. I'm not about the latest and greatest products, and you know how much something costs does not make it better in my mind. Uh, in terms of more expensive, the better it is. I don't believe in that. So for what you get for the Shocks Open Run. I would much rather save about a hundred bucks and go with these Touchbone X14s. They were amazing. They're super light. They have the USB-C charging port as opposed to the magnetic proprietary port that the shocks have, which again, I get it's convenient. It's super cool. But what's more convenient for me is personally, as an Android phone user and other devices that have USB-C charging ports, including laptops and all that, it's really easy to charge something that already has a USB-C port because I've got USB-C cables everywhere, including in my car. All right, so that's a step in the right direction. They are really comfortable, well-built, kind of more sturdy than the other ones, but yet flimsy where they need to be flimsy. Whereas the, you know, like I said before, the Touchbone BC-8s were like a limp noodle, a wet noodle, you know, it was just bad. So if you really want to get value and a pair of amazing bone conduction headphones, I highly recommend this uh, Touchbone X14. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'll leave you a link to the article that I have on Inquisitive Otter, but it also has all of the links where you can get your own sets of these as well, with affiliate links, of course, because you know we gotta pay the bills, but it'll have more of the specifications so you know what you're getting. I might not have covered everything in this video, but you'll get a lot of that detailed information um, there as well. So. Like usual, if you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button because uh, it really helps that YouTube algorithm get my videos spread out a little bit more. And if you want to get the latest updates and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, because I'm updating a lot more content as we go along here. I've actually got two more um, products to review. I'll give you a sneak peek here. Um, got these El Cheapo headphones to go with my phone as well, besides the bone conduction. And I'll tell you why I got them in the next video. You know, I'm a child of the 80s and my current wired headphones here, if that gives you any indication as to why I went with these. And like, oh, what's that? A little bit of orange down there? Yeah, maybe there's a little similarity, but without the wire. And the other thing, which I have to get over here, the other thing, I don't know if you've ever seen these, but it's a charging cable that shows the amount of watts that you're actually, your phone is using and charging with. Now, it sounds kind of gimmicky, but at the same time, I thought it was kind of interesting because we all have a wide variety of wall warts, you know, like the charges that go into the plugs. And it's kind of nice to know how much wattage we're actually getting because maybe the ones that we're using don't have the right amperage or not enough and we could be getting our phones and devices charged a lot faster than we realized. Anyway, it seemed kind of cool so I, I got it. Those will be the next few videos guys and as usual thanks for watching and uh, leave comments down below if you have any questions, if you have any opinions, I'm always looking to chat. Take it easy.